Welcome to Algebra 1 CSC release question number 29. It says, which inequality does the shaded region of the graph represent? And so let's go back. I think our, the easiest way to do this one, at least, is our old trusty standby slope intercept form. So we have y. For right now, I'm going to think of it as equals mx plus b. And then in the end, I'll deal with the inequality portion of it. So the line itself will be defined by whatever this is. What is our slope? And what is our y-intercept? Y-intercept, I think, is a little easier to start with first. That's right here. The y-intercept is at positive 2. And then the slope, you're going down. If you pick a point right here, or any two points in particular, and then find another one that lies right on the crosshairs of those grid lines. Right there is another one. You're going down 3 and right 1. Notice you're kind of running if you think of moving left to right, you're running downhill as you move left to right. That's going to be a negative slope. If you're going left to right, like you would maybe on an old video game, oh, like Super Mario, Mario Brothers 1, uh, where you couldn't go backwards in the level, always moving left to right to advance in the level. That's right, I'm referring to video games. I'm, I'm from the Super Mario Brothers 1 generation. It just came out when I was a little kid. Uh, now you can figure out how old I am, I guess, if you wanted to. <laughs> So from there, though, we've got a slope of it's rise over run, negative 3 over positive 1, which would be the same thing as just saying negative 3. So you're going down 3, right 1. That's your slope. That's going to get filled in right here. And so let's plug those numbers in now. We've got y equals negative 3x. And then, again, our y-intercept was a positive 2, plus 2. Now this doesn't look like what I have down here yet. I do have to change that sign in in a moment. Why don't I just do that right now, actually? And I, it looks like I'm going to have to get the 3x on the other side as well. Uh, but for right now, this is going to be becoming, or this is going to become, remember, think of that roof idea that I talked about in the last one. If this is your roof, it's a pretty steep roof, but this would be stuff underneath the roof. You'd be protected from the rain at this part. The, the rain would be coming down this way. So if this is your roof, we're talking about things that are underneath or kind of less than the roof in a sense. It's or equal to because you have a solid line right here. So we say y is less than or equal to negative 3x plus 2. Go back to the previous question, number 28, if you need a little more explanation on my whole roof analogy and why that works. Um, from here, it looks like if we're adding 3x to both sides, then it's going to become a form like what we see down here instead. So we have this being more in a, a standard form. We have the something x, something y, and something else on the other side. We have 3x plus y is less than or equal to a positive 2. Looking at our answer choices, it looks like that matches up with choice A right there. Not this one. Those are both negative 2. This one, the sign, is pointing the wrong way. So number 29 choice A.